Time no see, right? It's been quite some time since I haven't posted any video and just uh, uh, for a change I was like why not and uh, post one video just just like that. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's been uh, really shitty the, the weather lately honestly and um, too much wind I would say so not quite all right. Anyway, uh, today we've gathered uh, uh, to, I mean we've gathered here to show you uh, my newest uh, plane, the little glider. Actually, uh, you might have seen it in my previous videos, um, but it, it's uh, it's uh, like a new plane right now. And you wonder why, and I will show you. Um, right here, we have the Pix Racer Nano, which is a very nice and small, tiny, yet very powerful uh, flight controller. It's uh, running on... Um, um, Ardu plane and it's it's that literally two fingers even less than that maybe 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters I also have the uh, FR Sky um, mini which uh, again is a very small but uh, powerful uh, receiver we have a Racer Star uh, BR2306 24 100 kV so this little sucker really knows how to spin and uh, and then the VTX here uh, that is an, an AKK uh, ultimate mini um, it's capable of uh, doing like one watt however I don't know why they have decided not to put any screen it is only a couple of uh, LEDs and it's hell of a trick it's like a wild guess to figure out on what uh, power level you are. I know that it has a smart audio and lately I figured out that uh, um, Ardu plane also supports that. I really tried to set it up but I couldn't so be, you know, I'll deal with it. Uh, so this is actually the first version of this plane as I plan to uh, have a, a second version which will be much nicer. It will look the same but um, there won't be any tape here for example. Uh, and everything will be very nice uh, embedded into the airframe. Uh, the batteries, it's running on 3S21700 Molycell lithium ion batteries, and they are right here under embedded into the, the shell, uh, into the fuselage. And they look like, uh, I mean, the way they oriented, it's like a, a torch, really. So, um, enough talking, let me show you how it flies because it's. It's really, really, really great. Right, so now, here it is. As you can see, it works pretty good. And now let's see how it flies, which is the most important. Uh, almost no wind, which is great. And uh, let's enjoy. Uh, later on, I will also add the, um, the DVR. Ah, <laughs> look, look what we have here. Have a piece of something. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? Right. Right, so there you go. You know, when you have small planes, it's very, it's always very tricky to toss it the right way. So let's see what happens because uh, uh, no damage. However, most likely we need to do it again. All right, let's do it again. Okay. Go. All right. Now we'll leave it here to acquire some satellites and other stuff. And there you go. Alright. So, second try. <laughs> uh, good thing is that there is no damage. And when you have small planes, it always like that. Alright. Thank 
Let's go. Okay, so we turned the fly by wire A, eh? and now I'll do a low, very low pass so you can see it. Throttle down. That's as slow as it can get. I'll do another pass so you can see it. Again, I'll try to do it very low and slow. And also very quiet, extremely quiet. Alright, now I will gain some altitude and then I'll put my FPV and uh, I'll fly a bit around. While cruising it takes around 5 amperes to sink, so it's quite efficient. Quite, quite efficient. Okay, that's good. So let me put my goggles on. Right on. Okay. There you go. All good. So right now it is using four amperes. Like I said, quite quite good. And two hundred and uh, one hundred and twenty-five meters. So really good. 